Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing. So this one's gonna be really hype because we got this bad boy here. It is Ventus Gilator Ultra with its Baku gear, man. So I'm really hyped about this. This is my first Gilator, and obviously it's a new background to this season looking really, really cool. I'm guessing that probably it'll be um, uh, Winton's, uh, one of his secondary Bakugan. You know, it only makes sense because, you know, he'll, he'll have Trox, and then, like, he has Gilator for a secondary one. So, yeah, kind of like to kind of replace Lupithion, uh, but it still looks really, really sick, dude, I'm really hyped for this, and even the design for it, man, it's a freaking alligator, like, come on, like, it looks so cool, and plus, it has a magic shield with it, and that's pretty crazy, because magic shields are obviously really, really strong, so, yeah, time to check out the back, so we got uh, the Ultra, the Baku gear, two cores, ability card, character card, instruction sheet, and the rules sheet, so, again, showing off the Bakugan from, like, the first wave, even though this is, I think, wave two, but, Still, I mean, it looks really, really awesome, man. So, yeah, I guess without further ado, uh, let's get into unboxing this bad boy. The hype is real. Here we go. All right, get that up out of there. And wow, <laughs> butter fingers. If I can, yeah, there we go. You son of a potato. I don't know. Right, here we go. Boom, and get those out. Oh, shoot, it has a regular shield and a magic shield. If it has some good B power, this thing could be pretty tanky, I think. Uh, yeah, if it has some like pretty good B power straight out of the gate, those are some pretty nice cores to have with it. So, yeah, man, here we go. Let me get that off there. Okay, got that out of there. And then, boom. Yeah. Right out, getting all this the garbage up, up out of here. All right, there's Gilator. Yo, that design is sick. That's a wicked design. And wow, it was actually like biting onto that, like chompy. I don't know. All right, boom and boom. Don't know why I said chompy. I mean, chompy's a goat. Fairly odd parents, you know. Uh, but get that out of there. Okay. So we're just gonna get into the background first. Actually, no, we'll get into the chorus first. So, uh. We got a regular shield, which this one is uh, plus 150, two less for uh, Baku gear. And then a magic shield, plus 500, one less for Baku gear. So that is a pretty nice one. But uh, next up, we've got Gilator here. Gilator Ultra. Ventus Gilator Ultra. First of all, this design, really, really sick, dude. Like, they fit a lot of detail within this. You can see the front uh, arms of the alligator just looking so... So cool, dude. Does its jaw open, like, big time? Or does it not? Nah, it doesn't look like it. So, it doesn't look like the jaw opens, but, you know, I mean, no biggie. Um, are there manual parts for it? Oh, there are. Okay. So, you can see right there. So, kind of like the front uh, legs. Then you got the yellow right there. Um, yeah, that's yellow. And then you got the green. Then some lime green right there. And a ton of lime green on the back. And also, like, the back legs and the tail. I really like that big time. It's going to look so cool in the ball form. Imagine this in Darkest, dude. Like, all the purple that would be there. That will look amazing. <laughs> and even an Arliss, man. Like, imagine they use, like, that much metallic gold paint. That would be wild. But there's the Ventus symbol, of course. Looking so, so cool. Get that out of focus in there. And then the face of Gilator, of course, and just the overall body. Overall, like, there's a lot of detail with this Bakugan, for sure. And his B-Power is 400, so, I mean, still, it breaks 1,000. That's, like, 1050 uh, get, it can get up to without any Evos. So, yeah, and hopefully they'll give it a pretty good uh, Evo. But, yeah, now it's time to figure out how to close this thing. All right, so put that down. Uh, let's see, manual parts. Put those in. Close the legs. And then the back legs are manual as well, so fold those in. Uh, roll the body up, and really? Dude, that's actually really smooth, the way it closes like that. That's sick, dude. That's really, really sick. Uh, yeah, so there's Ventus Gilator Ultra in the ball form, looking so, so great, man. Like I said, honestly, just for the look of it, I feel like Ventus is probably, like, the worst faction for it. And I don't say that like that is a bad thing. It still looks really, really great in Ventus. I just mean that like the colors in Ventus are like, you know, kind of similar like with the yellow and the lime green. But like with Darkest or Arliss or even Pyrus, uh, just the diversity of the colors make it pop that much more. It's going to look crazy, man. It's going to look so, so good. Like I, I really want to see it in Darkest and Arliss. I don't say that because they're just 
two of my favorite factions, but like they'll they'll look it'll look really good. Uh but yeah man, let's see. There's the magnet right there. So probably for like a lot of these uh ultras. I might not do the opening action like this unless it's like the first time. Cause I just want to show it off with the with the Baku gear. Actually, I'll, I'll do the regular roll. When it's the first time, I'll do the regular roll. If it's not the first time, then you know I'll probably just try it the other way. But yeah, you'll see what I mean with upcoming unboxings. But uh, Baku Mortar, I guess the Shadow Strike, and plus three hundred and plus six, but five cost. So okay. Um, I don't think that's the name of this like Baku gear though. Uh, you guys can let me know what it is in the comments. But yeah, I wish they did put the name of the Baku gear on there and then just say Blake plus Baku gear. Because I'm still kind of confused about that. But anyways, uh, there's Ventus Gilator Ultra. That artwork for it looks so sick, dude. You already know. It, it does have a little bit of Lupithion vibes for sure. Imagine if like Lupithion and Gilator combined because they have Baku fusions. Like They'll have them later on. That would be so sick, dude. Like uh, an alligator werewolf. What the heck would that even look like? But anyways, B power 400 damage of 6. Looking so sick, dude. Sitting by a power plant. Um, magic shield, regular shield, so it's breaking a thousand, ten fifty, uh, without any uh, evos, which that's still pretty dang strong. So definitely looking forward to using it. Um, and I guess we'll show out the opening action for it, and then get into the Baku gear. So let's see if I can get some good rolling action with it. Got to find the magnet. There it is three, two, one, and zoom out a little bit more. Baku gun bra. And oh wow, okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess maybe, I guess the arrow, I mean, the arrow is pointing that way, so it is that way you're supposed to roll it, but maybe just got to roll it a bit harder. But, yeah, I mean, regardless, it looks really, really sick, dude. It looks so cool. I did give it to our big time. All right, but then we've got uh, the Baku gear that comes with it. Like I said, I'm not sure the name of it. You guys can let me know in the comments. Um, but it, it's pretty bulky, and it's got some huge, huge wings on it, it looks so, yeah, literally, like, it'll be a flying alligator with this thing on. So, let's see. Um, let's see, and it's supposed to go this way. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Actually, yeah, there we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Hey! Yeah, dude, it literally has wings. What the heck? It's a flying alligator. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. That's so sick. All right, and then on the arms, you can see the ports for the Baku gear. So, one there. And it's got, like, the, yeah, the, the spot for the missiles to shoot them. That's so sick, dude. That's so, so cool. All right. So, there it is, completely assembled. Looking so, so sick, man. It looks really, really good. Gilator, honestly, is a really, really sick ultra. And I dig it big time. I definitely do. And I can't wait to see it in other factions because I think it has some big time potential. I mean, even with the Ventus, it breaks a 1,000. So, it's going to be pretty strong. But yeah, can't wait to see what they're going to do, uh, what other factions they're going to do for Gilator, because it just looks so cool. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this epic review on this awesome Bakugan Armored Alliance Ventus Gilator Ultra Baku Gear set. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content, because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm up out of here.